Hello crafters, welcome to Create at Home with Elf Creations. Uh, this is the channel of Create at Home with G and Create at Home with G.com. Um, at Christmas of 2017, I was sent these lovely um, miniature nativity scene ornaments, which can go on a, on a miniature tree, or you can display them elsewhere. I'm not too sure where they're from. Let me see. Right, they were $6.99, it says Christmas 2017, but I don't know which store they were from. Um, <clears throat> and I've got these glass baubles, and I wanted to, to kind of recreate, almost, I'm not going to be able to create a whole scene within there, but I wanted to use the, the baby Jesus, and I can find Mary, and where is Joseph, and there's Joseph. Let's see if I can fit those three into the ornament. I'm going to cut away the little um, gold thread on it. So we don't need that. As close to the base as possible. Let's see if I'll be able to get all three of them in here. I may only be able to get um, baby Jesus in here. Okay, there's Mary. Okay, I can get. Let me, so I don't want to. I can get them in there, but you can't really see them. I think it's a bit too full. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just the baby Jesus in here. But I'm going to put some some moss in the base. So just a bit of moss. And I'm going to use E6000 because I've run out of um run out of hot glue. So I'm going to put some E6000 on the base of this glass bauble. It's actually kind of a candle hanger, but you can also use them as baubles. I'm going to get a, a um, paintbrush that I don't mind throwing away. So I'm going to grab an old paintbrush and I'm going to just paint the E smooth E6000 around on the base. Put in my moss, and I'm going to put a dab more E6000 on the base of Baby Jesus. This would be a really nice thing to do if if you um if you have a tree that's just for this. And then maybe you could, um, each day of Christmas, or each day leading up to Christmas, you add a different character. So the animals, the camels, the three wise men, and so forth. And obviously on on um, on Christmas Day, you add, you know, you add baby Jesus. And then it comes almost like a, like a, like a countdown. That'd be really cute to do. So just adding some moss to the base and then I have another one so what I think I'll do is I'll add Mary and Joseph to my second one again adding the E6000 to the base Using that paintbrush to move it around. A bit of moss. Now you could use um, sand if you wanted to. If you didn't want to use moss, you could use sand. Let's put some E6000 on the base of my characters. Okay, so there's Mary. And Joseph. Add a 
a little bit more moss to the front of them using my tweezers where are my tweezers and these are the tweezers that you can get from my store these are the um, woodwick tweezers and they're brilliant they've got a soft grip handle okay let's push that down Keeping, keeping in turn with the the rustic feel, I'm going to use some jute twine as the hangers. I don't think these need any bells or whistles because I think they are just rustic and traditional. They don't need you know the golds and the greens and the bells and the glitter. That I don't think anyway. And there we have it crafters, two really simple but very effective little Christmas decorations that you can put on your Christmas trees. And as I said, if you do them all with all the different characters, you could put some in um, on the tree every day and use it as a like an advent, a countdown. That'd be really sweet to do with your, um, with your family and your children. But thank you very much for joining me today with this quick craft and I will see you very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.